The non-phonetic farm is the same concept, except now we're adding more challenging words. So when the child is reading phonetic words, this is the time to introduce the grammar portion. As you can see in my basket, I have a bigger selection of objects to put on my farm now that we're adding more difficult words. I have my words coinciding with the objects that are in my basket. So I have noun, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, and articles. Again, I printed mine off on the computer. You could just write the words, that's fine. If you wanna use your own color coding or shape coding, just make sure whatever method you use, you have a distinction between the nouns, the adjectives, the verbs, the adverbs, and the articles. So I have the child set up their farm. They're gonna start with the nouns. Here I have tree, chicken, horse, cow, rooster. And again, make sure they're comfortable with the words and then go on to adjectives. Remind them how an adjective describes a noun. So here we have friendly, happy, noisy, funny. And I only did a few words for the objects. You can have them put all the names down and all the adjectives if you want. And then again, the verbs. You have leaps, hides, pulls, eats. All of these words, non-phonetic, but again, at this point, the child should be able to read them before they do this work. So now we introduce the adverbs. So an adjective describes a noun, an adverb describes a verb. So quietly, the happy horse hides quietly. Bravely. Noisy cow pulls bravely. Angrily. Funny rooster eats. Angrily. Sneakily. Friendly chicken leaps sneakily. And so on. After your child is confident with the adverbs, then you can teach them the articles. That's just basically the, a, an. So you can have the happy horse hides quietly. And now your child knows how to write a sentence.